Mon Dieu! I am so lonely and bored here all alone by my lonesome. At least you have that mother of a dog. I have nothing but these plants and flowers to keep me company. Maybe I should get a real pet, yes? Yvonne, there's plenty of responsibility that comes with owning a pet. Ah, these things do not scare me. I was King Louis' personal valet for ten years. But there's all the washing, the feeding, the ticks, the fleas. It's nothing like taking care of a king. Yvonne! <laughs> Mm, it is obvious you have never met King Louis. <laughs> Sacre bleu! What does that stink? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. There once was a Frenchman, Yvonne was his name. Exploring new worlds he dreamed was his fame. But reading a map was not his forte. So poor Yvonne was soon cast away. Yvonne, Yvonne how do you come? Sailing the stormy seas. Yvonne, Yvonne, how do you come? No one could hear his pleas. He soon found himself in a bit of a pickle. The frigid North Seas proved more than fickle. Yvonne's navigation would soon cost a price. He was knocked overboard and turned into ice. Yvonne, Yvonne of the Yukon, hapless volunteer. Yvonne, Yvonne of the Yukon, frozen for hundreds of years. Three hundred years passed and with some irony. His scheme was thought out by what's need to pee. Yvonne claimed the land for his country's glory. And, and that's, that's the start of Yvonne's story. Yvonne, Yvonne of the Yukon, frozen by icy seas. Yvonne, Yvonne of the Yukon. Defrosted for you and for me. Okay, Evan. When you start talking to the bait, you know you are in trouble. Oh, no, sir. So, 
We are not lost. No, we are lost, all right. But we are lost because Private Fuji cannot read a map. I said to make a left. Oh, did not. That is enough. It is a port your fault. And as such, it is a port your responsibility to get us back to our Imperial homeland. Yes, sir. You will go ashore and gather enough food supplies and uh, toilet paper for our trip home. Toilet paper? But there is a whole box in the supply room. There's a whole box in the supply room. Not anymore! Thanks to that fancy pants dinner that you two made last night. Oh, maybe the pork sushi was a mistake. What are you waiting for? But it is cold out there. Fine. You can stay here and keep warm under your many ribbons of shame. Oh, yes, sir. You oh, are away. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, oh. Drink up. This will put you back on your feet. That's it. Nothing does the trick like a steaming cup of the pig sweat. Hey, Yvonne. Uh, uh, did you know that there's a walrus in your bed? Tommy, come. I want you to meet him. He saved my life, then he passed out, so I bring him back and fix him right up. Now we are bonded for life. <laughs> Maybe you didn't hear me. I said there's a walrus in your bed. Hey, I wonder if he play fetch like Mutt do. Yeah, you will be my pet, no? Yeah, hey, fetch, boy, fetch! No, you must fetch the ball! You silly walrus, you! You just don't know how fetch works. I show you. I throw the ball. Then you pick it up with your mouth and bring it back. Watch. Easy. <laughs> Isn't he wonderful, Tommy? <laughs> I will keep him as my pet. Pet? Yvonne, this is a wild animal. He doesn't belong with you. You have Mutt? Why can't I have Lumpy? Lumpy? Hey, you like that name? I just come up with it. Yvonne, you can't make a wild creature your pet. It might even be dangerous. Ah, dangerous. Lumpy wouldn't hurt a fly. You are just jealous. Now go away, Tommy. I need to put a leash on my Lumpy. Come, Lumpy. I'll take you for a walk. There's a good walrus. Yeah. We should go over that snowbank over there. Oh, the one on the left? Right. Oh, so the one on the right? No, left. But you say the snowbank on the right. I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No. I hear you. No. Oh, no. Yes. Swing it. Yes. Tommy, what's wrong? You're not eating your lunch. I guess I'm not hungry. Okay, now what's really bugging you? <sighs> Yvonne has become friends with this walrus, and he wants to make him into his pet, and it's, it's just wrong. Uh-huh. You and Yvonne are pretty close. Maybe you're getting jealous. I am not. A walrus is a wild animal. Yvonne just doesn't understand that. Ah! Hey. Did you say walrus? It took me a half an hour to write those specials. Tell me, this walrus, is it white like the virgin snow? Uh, I don't know about that, but, but it's white all right. Hank, <laughs> does he have a scar on his back left flipper? Yeah, that's him. You seen him, eh? Oh, I seen him all right. Let me tell you a little story about me and that spawn of Satan walrus. About ten years ago, I was fishing a few miles from here. Well, fish on it!
eyes of that heartless beast, I was rejected the Frosty Wiener Line Dancing Academy. I don't believe it. That walrus wouldn't do that. Don't believe me, huh? We'll feast your eyes on this! Oh, look. Is that ivory? I could only afford the soapstone model. Eyes gonna kill me, walrus, if it's the last thing I do. Hey, where are you going? I gotta tell Yvonne, or that walrus is a goner! <laughs> Howdy, strangers. Uh, if you're looking for the jazz aerobics class, it's in the next building over. You make cheeseburger, yes? Best this side of Yellowknife. How many cheeseburgers? Two? Uh, three hundred, please. Is that to stay or to go? No, I ordered 300 sheets of wallpaper and two sheets of sandpaper, not two sheets of wallpaper and 300 sheets of sandpaper! What do you mean, no refund? <laughs> oh, excuse me, please, but where can we purchase the bulk toilet paper? Have I got a deal for you? <laughs> Jump through the hoop! Arr, 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 arr. What is your problem? It is so simple. Watch! Arr, 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 arr. Did you like that, eh? Watch, I do it again! Hey, Yvonne, you have to send Lumpy back to the sea. Get away, Tommy! I already tell you! Lumpy is mine! But Harlan wants to kill him! What? He said Lumpy bit off his toe, and now he can't be a frosty wiener dancer. <laughs> Wait, he is trying to tell us something. You didn't bite off Harlan's toe, did you, Lumpy? You see? Maybe we should let Lumpy tell his side of the story. Go on, Lumpy, tell us what really happened. Did you understand any of that? I have not a clue. Me neither. Zappo! One dead walrus. <laughs> Jackknife! <laughs> Come on, Lumpy! We have some fun! Your hide is mine, fish breath. So much 
much fun! <laughs> I love to ride my lumpy! You big dumb walrus. You see this? It's all I got left of my toe now. This stupid hunk of imitation ivory. Lumpy, what is wrong? What has happened? No, Lumpy! Come back! Come back! Yeah! <laughs> My Lumpy! My Lumpy! My Lumpy! Oh, it is all my fault. I should not have righted him like that. Maybe if I wasn't so fat, he would not have sunk through the ice. Uh, I'm sorry, Yvonne, but at least you still have your old friends, right? Uh, Can I get you anything else, Yvonne? Clumpy. Hmm, sorry, pal. Wish I could. Yvonne, cheer up. One day you'll forget all about him. I will never forget Lumpy! You don't know what it is like to lose your best friend. I do know what it's like to lose a best friend. I just wish there was something I could do. There's an old saying. When you fall off the horse, you get a new horse. Or something like that. I don't get it. Well, maybe Yvonne needs a new horse, you know what I mean? But I can't afford to buy him a new horse. Wait a minute. That's it! There he goes. A block off the old chimp. Lumpy? You're alive! Come, we have fun again! You come home and sleep with me, you beautiful walrus, you! <laughs> I'm not a walrus, I'm the Eggman. Well, then the samurai, he say to Geisha, I like cats too! Let's exchange recipes! <laughs> you know, you guys are all right! Domo arigato, dudes! Yeah, Major Domo. We'll be catching you later, bro. <sighs> Mon Dieu, how I miss my lumpy. Yvonne, I've got something behind my back that will cheer you up for sure. It's a hamster, and you can call him Lumpy if you want. Sit. I said sit. Ah, it is just not the same. Yvonne, you need to move on. You can't stay depressed like this forever. I know, but that big walrus, he brings me such happiness. And I never tell him how much he mean to me. And now, he is gone. Maybe Lumpy isn't with us physically, but his spirit is around us. You think? Why not go back to where you first met Lumpy and tell his spirit how much you love him? Where have you been? Did you get the supplies? Oh, chill, dude. We got your grub. And we got your toilet paper right here. Vaughn, tell Lumpy how you feel. Ah, this is stupid. It is not. Go on. All right, all right. Um, Lumpy, I just wanted to let you know how much joy you brought into my life. You made my days happy, and I love you because of this. And I am sorry I made you my pet. Now I know that a wild animal like a walrus deserves to be in the wild. Hey, get riddance! I'm glad I got rid of you, you lousy! Flea-bitten walrus? What are you saying? You mean? That's right. Vengeance is mine, saith Harlan! Why are you?
Lumpy, you have been a wonderful friend to me and I love you. Now it is time for you to go home, back to the wild. You do not belong here with me. Go! Go, my Lumpy! Go! There's a good one. Insubordination and, and we are ashamed. Look hmm. it. We apologize for our insubordination and we are ashamed. All right, that is enough. Your ribbons of shame will be removed when we arrive at our destination. Thank you, sir. Awesome, bro. What? I mean, thank you, sir. Private, engage. Wait! Where is Akira? Where is our mascot? Is he missing again? Oh, don't worry, sir. Akira is leading us back home. Ooh! Yuck! You call this sushi? Um, in case you don't know, boys, Sushi is raw moose meat. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Dad, I know it was hard on Avon, but at least he learned that wild animals belong in the wild. Hey, I want you all to meet my new Lumpy. Come, Lumpy, come. Come.